but we're not using those. We're using these. I bought these Proline Epco urethane balls. They are 2.7 ounces, the heaviest ball legally allowed in candle pit bowling. Ball one. And we start with what I thought we would. Ball two. I kind of slipped, but poor excuses for poor people that play. That's better. That one don't want to fall. Ball three. I think that piece of dead one on the left is okay, but we're trying to aim for the right. That's looking all right. Ten. Welcome to December's edition of Watch Me Suck It Bowling, coming to you from a place we haven't been in a while, on the show at least, Putnam Street Lanes in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Haven't been here in a while, and this is by far the easiest house that I've ever been to. Doesn't mean the scores will always be good, but it's the easiest place there is. But it's legit, we've proven it a thousand times on camera. Ten pin decks and candle pins make me happy. It also generates high scores. And speaking of scores, let's look at the highs and lows as of now. And if I sound echoey, it's because I'm standing underneath the Putnam Street garage. Anyway, here are the highs and lows as of now. In the land of the candle pins, I got a 142, which was done at New Palace. Here, my high is a 139, so it ain't far behind. The low of 44 was done at Mason's bowling the right way instead of balanced in the land of the ducks 147 high at Collins Bowladrome Bill Ricca and the 58 was done at North Chelmsford Lanes in Chelmsford Massachusetts that's when I had the pin cam in the lane it was a very short approach moved it after that and everything was golden and then the land of the 10 pins we have a 161 for a high single. And unfortunately, doing the Jason Belmonte and failing miserably at it. Yes, 26. That is a real low score for 10 pin. And those are the highs and lows as of now. Watch Me Suck at Bowling is a proud sponsor of the hit TV candle pin show, King of the Palace. Watch talented professional and league bowlers show their stuff instead of watching this crap. To watch episodes of King of the Palace, simply go to YouTube and search for King of the Palace. If you want to subscribe to the show, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes. And we've been here before. They have repainted. I mean, you've seen that if you watch the live stream, but we'll go over that again. And other than that, it's the same it's been, so let's go in and get situated. If you see my live streams, we bowl on lane 10, and that's what we're going to be doing. And I wanted to point out that there was, as a, the dual image stabilization is fighting me, there has been a repaint. Gary, who owns the place, has repainted these approaches. Well, not the approaches, but the ball returns. And the one that blends in kind of over there is the orange one. They've all been repainted. Again, lane number 10 here at Putnam Street Lanes. And all of their balls are held for whenever people need them. But we don't use the house ball anyway. We use these and 
There haven't been any competition, so I haven't repainted the logos. I put uh, yellow paint in and rub off the access so that it stands out. They're Epco Urethane. They were two pound seven ounce balls. Who knows what they are now? And we'll see how things go. This is the easiest place there is, but it's still time to watch me suck at bowling. Frame one, ball one. Yep, this camera's in the same spot and literally within an inch behind it, the pin cam. Ball two. Ball three. This may be the easiest place. It's also home of some of the worst stinkers. And believe it or not, with a one frame at this place, I have broken a hundred. Looks like that's what we're going to attempt. Wasn't that wonderful? For those of you who like the pin setters, here's the bowl mark clearing every way, everything but the singleton. They like to stand up in the, in the uh, pin. Fortunately, pin cam can show that clearly if I don't see it. Ball two. This is a really epic game, isn't it? One and one. But then the eight and two. Get ready, ICBA. The world record's about to be broken, which is a 245. We are at nine. Frame three, ball one. Ball two. Also because we're on an elevated wooden floor, Pin cam, well, both cams, but pin you'll notice wobble a bit. Ball three. The appropriate bowling god's middle finger for now. Frame four, ball one. Ball two. That can make up for the one. Things have finally started to look up. We got an eight and three, and a correction of nine and three. That was the bowling god's finger there. And a spare and four. I had to wait for the score to return on the computer screen there. So far we've only got a 28, with El Stinko the bonus ball to probably fix things. Frame five, ball one. El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? If I'm throwing the way I've been throwing, as of now, outside of that first shot recently, maybe it'll be good. Of course, El Stinko has to suck. That's a one. Ball two.
Ball three. Amazing. Easiest house. It's also the one where I get screwed a lot, too. Yeah, this game's lost. It's a six. Frame six, ball one. We need a strong second half. This game is garbage right now. Ball two. Ball three. I think I might have lost that, so it's a seven. Well, this game is trash. Good news is we're not going to hit the low. My low score here is a 54, which is possible. Six and five, seven and six, living up to the fact that five years and nothing to show for it with a 42. Frame seven, ball one. Ball two. Ball three. At least it was something. Yeah, this game's garbage. Five. Frame eight, ball one. Ball two fell out of my hand. Well, it might as well. Ball three, go figures. I should just give up. That's a six. The good news is my ultimate low score here is going to be passed. But how much in the 60s are we going to be with a 5 and 7 and a 6 and 8 and a lousy 53? Frame 9, ball 1. Ball 2. Ball three, gee, guess which pin. Yeah, bowling gods telling us we shouldn't be playing. Let's get it over with. Let's get it over with. Not even 70. Five to ruin it. Yeah, those days in the 80s and 90s and 100s, those are long past. 67. That's it. That's all I'm worth. We're back to normal. Five years and nothing to show for it. That's the first step edition of five for the month of December 2020's Watch with Suck at Bowling. 2020, such a great year. Why not end with my average in the 70s at this point? This is George F551 saying, hope you enjoyed it at my expense and have a good one.